After introducing the waste or biomass in the reactor, it undergoes a process of thermal decomposition in an oxygen deficient atmosphere. Here, pyrolysis volatile components are generated. After pyrolysis, the solid fraction called char then passes to the gasification reactor, where both the partial combustion of the carbon and the own gasification reactions produce a combustible syngas based on carbon monoxide, hydrogen and methane, which eventually feed the cogeneration engine. To provide the required energy to the process, the exhaust gases of the cogeneration engine are used. First, these gases are brought to a heat exchanger, where its temperature is raised. The exhaust gases circulate superheated through the pyrolysis reactor to provide the necessary energy to sustain pyrolysis process. Part of the residual thermal energy to the pyrolysis reactor outlet is used in a boiler where the necessary steam is produced to carry out the gasification. Once provided the energy required to the different processes, the exhaust gases can be sent back to the drying plant residue to take the rest of the heat from it. The gas fraction produced in the pyrolysis reactor, called pyrogas, is introduced into a cracking chamber, where its temperature rises to transform undesired condensable compounds. The mixture between cracked pyrogas and syngas passes through a heat exchanger, which heats up the steam and the combustion air necessary for both cracking and char gasification. Finally, the syngas conditioning is performed to introduce it into the cogeneration engine. 